Hello everyone, how are you all doing? This is Tithi here and today I am going to talk about the notification for recruitment that has recently come up like in 1st of February only it was published by Bhabha Atomic Research Center. So this is the recruitment notification from Bhabha Atomic Research Center for scientific officers through its academic programs OCES and DTFS. Now the notification is available in BARG's official site. At the same time, the entire notification is available in our Biotechnica website as well. But today in this video, I'm going to break it down for you to understand it in a better way. Okay. So this notification, as I just told you, is for the recruitment of scientific officers through the academic programs conducted by Baba Atomic Research Center. There are two programs in this OCES and DGFS. Okay, so we'll talk about what each of these programs are. At the same time, I'll talk to you about the grade and pay scale on appointment, the selection process, who all are eligible for applying for this uh, particular uh, program, what will be the application fee and definitely the process how to apply. So let's get started. So OCES here, it basically stands for Orientation Course for Engineering Graduates and Science Proposed Graduates. Okay, so this is the academic program. This is the training program that is conducted by BARC and on the successful completion of this program, the candidates will be absorbed as scientific officers. Okay, so the tentative date for starting of the program is August 2023. The duration of this course will be one year and the location will be Bark Training Schools. Now, there are different Bark Training Schools which are located all over India. So, um, uh, okay, so most of this, uh, uh, most of the uh, trainings, it will happen in different schools and there's a list that is also the detailed list is provided in the advertisement. Now, on the successful completion of the programs, the trainees, okay, who um, uh, will be uh, appointed as scientific officers in DAE, that is Department of Atomic Energy Units or Atomic Energy Regulatory Board, okay. Again, it can be appointed, the appointment can be in any of the DAE units which are spread all over the India okay and this trainee scientific officer so they will be called as trainee scientific officers TSOs when they are undergoing this course but after completion of the after successful completion of the course they will be recruited as scientific officers. Now the people who will perform excellently okay so excellent performance during the credit can also uh, can, can also get a postgraduate diploma and credit towards uh, MTech or PhD program of Bhabha, uh, Homi Bhabha Research Institute. Okay, and also the people who are also the candidates who are working uh, good, who are performing, who performed excellently during this course, they will also definitely get a chance during their career, okay, to pursue MTech or PhD. So, these are the perks of this OCES program. Now, let's see what is this DGFS program. So, DGFS again is the short form that st stands for DAE, that is Department of Atomic Energy uh, uh, Graduate Fellowship Scheme. Okay. So, under this scheme, so this scheme is also about uh, plan to be start from July 2023. The, the duration of it will be two years. So it is for the candidates who have performed excellently in the interview process of BARC training school program. Okay, so basically the same entrance. So here we will see like what is the selection process. So the same selection process only will happen for OCES and DGFS. But those people who will perform excellently in the interview selection of election selection of this BARC training school program. So they will be given with this fellowship. So uh, with this fellowship, stipend and tuition fee will be provided to pursue MTEC while retaining its em their employment with DAE. Okay, so as you are working as a DAE scientific officer, at the same time, you will be allowed to complete your MTEC. 
okay and the complete tuition fee and stipend will be provided to you in this duration is it not amazing guys this is like this is this is like you are getting an opportunity to do uh, advance uh, your career at the same time you have got a government job isn't it right so on successful completion placement of dgfs fellows as bark and igcar units all over india okay now the pay scale okay now this is really attractive so appointment as scientific officers will happen in group a government of india level 10 okay so the basic uh, the, the the basic salary is clearly mentioned in the advi uh, advertisement that the basic salary will be around 56000 in the initial phases okay when you are starting as a trainee scientific officer but during this uh, course only during this orientation course only you will be getting two or three um, increments okay depending on your performance definitely so you'll get two or three uh, increments along with all the travel allowances and uh, hra and everything so totally it will come around over one lakh per month right so it's amazing the post is amazing the perks are amazing and the salary definitely is awesome Now, what about the selection process? So, it will be a two-step selection process. First step will be of screening. Now, screening also can be done by uh, done by two ways. One is the online screening examination that will happen, and the uh, it will happen on nine engineering disciplines and four science disciplines okay the tentative date of the online screening examination is supposed to be march 2023 so this application form the notification that has come up okay so when you apply for this uh, recruitment program so basically you are enrolling yourself for the application of this online screening examination okay now the p the students who have got a valid gate score of 2022 or 2023 they will are able to apply directly okay so they don't have to apply they don't have to uh, go for this online screening examination and they will be directly called for the selection interview okay but with a valid score of gate 2022 and gate 2023 okay but yes it is also mentioned as a disclaimer in the advertisement that what will be the uh, the cutoff for the gate score that is not yet decided and it will be decided on the basis of the performance of the uh, candidates in this online screening exam okay so it is clearly advised in the advertisement itself that if you are really interested for the applic for for, for, uh, for this recruitment process so you should apply for both like even if you have a gate score gate valid score you put it up but you apply for or uh, you appear in this online screening examination also okay so that will kind of uh, make sure that in both the places you you get shortlisted so it will basically increase your chance of getting shortlisted so once this candidates are shortlisted on the basis of either this online screening examination or gate score then those shortlisted candidates will be called for selection interview okay now the, all over india there are more, uh, many centers that has been that will be set up for this online screening examination detail of that is also given in the advertisement now uh, the shortlisted now for this this online screening examination you have to go on your own expense but the the candidates who will be selected for this online examination shortlisted candidates who will be called for interview they will be provided with a travel allowance also of ac3 tier okay train the location of the interview will be bark training school mumbai and the tentative date of the interview will be around may or june of this year okay so now once you perform well in the interview so if you perform excellently well okay then you will be given this dgfs uh, scholarship or else if you perform well you will be given with this oces uh, you will be recruited under this oces scheme scheme okay i'll just uh, collapse it down yes now coming to the eligibility so there this is uh, this uh, uh, entire course and recruitment program is for 
engineering students engineering graduates but along with that there is portions give uh, there, 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 there's uh, there's post which are uh, which will be uh, uh, where our bioscience disciplines as well as physics chemistry disciplines are also eligible okay so i have not taken the other disciplines if you are interested please go through the detailed advertisement but here i am going to talk about the bioscience disciplines only the code of that is 43 okay now who all are or like which all subjects are eligible here so msc in various subject specialization which is again provided i'll give you some example like uh, msc in biotechnology molecular biology microbiology zoology botany and genetics okay they all are eligible provided they have 60 percent aggregate marks in msc as well as in bsc okay now it is very clearly mentioned that msc in specializations like horticulture um, marine biology uh, animal husbandry and some other uh, examples are also given they are not eligible i repeat those groups those specialization subjects mscs are not eligible okay and along with that it is also mentioned that be btech or mtech in biotechnology genetic engineering and medical engineering are not eligible okay but if you have msc in the subjects like biotechnology genetic um, molecular biology microbiology zoology botany life sciences you all are eligible okay now when i'm talking about the gate score remember so the gate score for the bioscience um, uh, uh, disciplines it has to be either gate life sciences that is excel or gate biotech um, the bt gate bt score okay either excel or gate bt score only Now coming to the age limit, so for general category, as on 1st of August 2023, the maximum age should be 26 years, minimum is 18 years, okay. Now there are different uh, relaxations are given for different categories, okay, 2 years relaxation, 5 years relaxation, relaxations are given for the different categories. So again for those, please go through the detailed advertisement. Now, when you are applying for the uh, this um, application, so there will be an application fee of 500 and that fee is completely non-refundable. Okay, so a application fee of 500 you have to pay and that also is for the general, uh, general category males. Okay, for women candidates, for um, other SC, ST, uh, backward classes, okay. So, for many of those groups, it is clearly mentioned that the application fee is not there, okay. It's absolutely free. The application is absolutely free. Now, coming to the most important part, and I know you people are all very curious to uh, know that how to apply, okay. So, again, this process also has complete online application through the website www.barkocesexam.in. Okay, so you just have to go to this website and you will get the online application which you have to download and fulfill. And the information are like how you have to fill, what are informations are needed, what are documents are to be submitted, all of that is mentioned in that um, website itself. Okay, now. Uh, before I end the video, so definitely I have to tell you what are the important dates. So, as you know, the application process has already started. The advertisement came on 1st of February. So, from that on, from that day itself, the application portal is open. And the last date of application is 2nd of March 2023. Again, I would like to highlight. Okay, so I'll just highlight it. It is 2nd of March 2023, okay, which is the last date right the online test is supposed to be on 1st or 2nd of april last date for the uh, candidates to upload their gate score will be 24th march display of list of candidates shortlisted for the interview on online application portal will be on 24th april okay so after the exam has taken uh, uh, so taken place on first and second so around after 22 23 days the shortlisted candidates list will be published availability based upon uh, based option 
on online application portal to select the interview slot for screened in candidates will be open from 24th April to 6th May. Selection interviews will, key, uh, will start from 16th May and it will go for one month till 16th of June. The final list of candidates will come on 7th of July. Okay. Last date for the selected candidates to give details of the NTEC admission in a DGFS institute. This is only for those candidates who have got selected for the DGFS program, the, the fellowship program Okay, is 10th of July. Declaration of list of applicants selected for DGHS will be given by 4th of uh, fourth week of July and commencement of the program will start from 7th of August. Okay, so here is the complete detail given to you all and if you guys think that you are eligible for this um, amazing opportunity, please go ahead and fill up the application and prepare for the online test. Again, I would like to say that if you have got a valid GATE score in, in, in life sciences and in or in GATE PT, so you can upload your score, but to be on the safer side, to appear for the online screening exam as well. So all the best everyone and um, please do the needful for, uh, for applying for this particular recruitment program. Thank you everyone. Thank you for watching. Thank you.